Hello, my name is Link. Over the past two weeks, I have received two traffic tickets. Hello, Link. Let's talk about that. Good morning, Chia Lincoln. It is Friday, January 21st. You alarmed me with the- 2011. With the, when you said good, it was like- It's good, Friday. Good. It just really popped out. Happy Friday, people. So Link, we finally found something for you to confess to. Yeah, as I said, uh, you know, I've gotten two traffic tickets over the past week. Shame. Boom, boom. Now, I, I will say that I, I do have a track record now, of this many is on traffic your, tickets. This on your scooter or your? <laughs> this is in my. In your vehicle. My full size vehicle. Okay. I do not own a scooter. Well, I thought maybe I could get him to think you drove a scooter. Over the course of my short life, I'd say I've probably gotten at least 14 traffic tickets, and many of those are grand stories for other grand Good Morning Chia Lincolns. Mm. Uh, so today, I think we should just focus on the recent past, and uh, you know, maybe they'll the, talking about it. There'll be a, a a cleansing sensation associated with. Uh, It'll be con cathartic. Catharsic. Catharchic. Yes, exactly. Cathartic. It'll be, it'll be cleansing. Uh, and Did the, you not hear me right? I just, I just don't know how it's said. Apparently, and I was questioning whether you knew how it was said either. Uh, cathartic is how it's said. Where to begin? I, you know, I'm, I'm driving, I'm driving from quaint Fuquay to almost as quaint Apex, North Carolina, and in betwixt is Holly Springs, and they have these cops that, boy, they just won't. They'll get you. Bro. Money hungry. Money hungry. So you know the blue lights come on. I was I was only slightly speeding, mm -hmm. and, but you know I hate it when you're slightly speeding. You see the cop and you slow down without putting on brakes, and then you get over in the right lane, and then the cop pulls out because he wasn't. I didn't pass the cop. He was the other way, pulling out into traffic. He gets behind you forever. Oh yeah. And then there's <clears> that. <throat> should I go the speed limit? Should I go slightly above the speed limit to act like oh, I'm not doing anything? But wrong that's here. just intimidation. At that point, he's just like, I'm just gonna let this guy feel the heat because I'm the heat. I hate that. I'm the Holly Springs Police Department. Woo, and, and then it's then. There should be a TV show about me. Finally, the blue lights come on and it's by this point it's almost a relief, but not really. Now the real fun begins because now in my mind it's like, oh my gosh, now I gotta figure out a place to pull over that's appropriate. And it, you know, how long can you wait to pull over where you don't seem like, you start to seem like you're evading the cops. I, I think you can go, you know, I think you got like 150 yards. Once you get beyond 150 yards. You gotta just stop, even if it's in the middle in of the, the middle street. In the middle of the street. So I, Because you know, then it's like an OJ situation after that. It's just <laughs> the, like. The helicopters come in. You're like, hold on now, this guy's not gonna stop, is he? He's evading. And so I finally find a place to pull over and it's a safe spot, because I don't like to pull right on the side of the road, and there was like a curb, so I couldn't anyway. And then I look up, and it was a police station. I was like, I went, I went from potentially making the cop think that I was evading him, to just turning myself yeah. in, just put me right in the jail. So he comes up and, you know, it takes a while, but eventually I get this pink slip, this traffic ticket citation. He fired you? And I didn't know that, so I'm so now it's just ret.com. Well, it no, well, no, it's it's pink, but it's a citation. Oh, traffic citation. Uh, it's not a, it's, it's, it's not a fireation. Thank goodness it wasn't speeding. It was my registration and my inspection were both inspired. Inspired. <laughs> he, he, he was so inspired. <laughs> so I, listen, I gotta, I gotta stop and tell you. That you're, the way that your registration looks on the back of your license plate <laughs> is so inspiring that you just need to be citated. It's been inspired for almost a year. That's a, that what a low life. What yeah, a low a, life that doesn't get his registration updated. Well, it, well I, actually, I need to do that. The whole system is very confusing. I'm not going to go into that, but um, I, you know, I've got I've got to do that, and then I've got well, to go gotta, to court. You got to have your inspection to get your registration, but you got to have your registration to get your inspection. It's, 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 this, it's this catch twenty two, and so people like us just go years upon years without doing anything about it. Because every time I show up at the Jiffy Lube and say I want my inspection, says you got to get your registration. Every time I try to get my registration, say you got to get, get your, your inspection. inspection. 
Inspection, get your inspection, you got to get your registration. You go on to registration? Well, you got to get your inspection. And sometimes you can't even understand what you're saying because they talk like this. Like, Hold on. What? What, what listen, was that? But you really need to get that air filter changed. <laughs> you seen how dirty your air filter is? I got one right here. It's $40. I I'll put it in for you. That's how they talk in the Jiffy Loop. Can't understand what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go home, and well, it's a few days later. I go home and I check the mail. Hmm. Another ticket. Bam! Another ticket in the mail. Red light ticket. No, no, not even any blue lights. And it was like, oh my gosh, this is from California. This is from our, when we were in California finalizing our pilot. Don't rip it up, no. And first of all, I'm, okay, red light. And you know, they, they put the pictures of the, the minivan I rented going through the red light. Oh, the proof is there. And I'm depressed. And then I'm like, you know what? There's another picture here. It's a close-up of the driver. And that's not you. It ain't me. It's my wife. <laughs> it's his wife, and I'm like, yes, because then I turn it over, I'm like, how much is this ticket anyway? $475. Listen, people in Los Angeles County, or wherever you're at out there. Glendale. Why are you, th what, what is your problem? Why are you giving a $475 ticket to somebody? In Raleigh, it's 50 bucks for the red light ticket, which I think, first of all, is probably unconstitutional to begin with, Link. But that, all that aside, my wife is the one that drove this, so I am now responsible for this $475 ticket. As far as the Constitution goes, I think in the preamble, there's something specifically addressing not running red lights. I think Lincoln said and, something about it in and, the Gettysburg Address. He says, And the cameras, are, are that's constitutional. Do well. your Lincoln voice and explain why red light tickets are unconstitutional. Red, red light tickets are uh, unconstitutional because it's it's discriminatory against people who drive vehicles through them. Okay, thank you, Lincoln. The The bottom line is th this is not your ticket. You're not responsible for it. I am now responsible for it. You only got one ticket this week. You really shouldn't be that upset. Yeah, I'm only half upset, and I'm half catharted at this point. I just catharted. <laughs> that was stupid. Well, let's check in with G. Lincoln. Let's do that. His his sprouts are getting kind of wavy. I don't think there's been any progress. There's definitely no new sprouting going on. It's just really a sad affair at this point. You know, I, I don't even like to look at him anymore. I, I avert my eyes. I look to the side of him. I don't I don't even know what to say anymore, Lincoln. I just don't think we did it right. But you know what? We're gonna keep doing this uh, good morning to you, Lincoln, until those things are completely brown and shriveled. Uh, one last thing before we see you on Monday and let you go for the weekend and see you on Monday for Good Morning Chia Lincoln. Uh, we released a video earlier this week where we talked about a lot of things but we were also shooting each other in the face with Nerf guns and water so a lot of people didn't get any of the message. Uh, but you're a faithful Good Morning Chia Lincoln watcher and we wanna make sure that you know specifically that our movie, Looking for Miss Locklear, that we made a while back is finally available for rental on the internet for only $1.99. We're renting it on YouTube. We're gonna have a link for that now. And uh, it's also available available on Amazon.com, Amazon Video On Demand. Now, if you're outside of the US, we have been told that there is a way to watch Amazon Video On Demand, but we cannot endorse or recommend that method, but we will let you know there is a way for you to watch it. It does exist. So we haven't completely excluded you. Sorry, that's just the way the system works right now. It's just like, Red light tickets in California, I mean, what can you do? So check out our movie, watch it tonight. Grab your significant other and have a date night. It's a great movie. Grab them in an appropriate place, like on the shoulder. Yeah, you say, come on, let's watch let's a movie. Let's watch a movie together. You need to change that air filter, you know that, don't you? <laughs> See you Monday.